Welcome back everyone. I've got a file folder tutorial for you today. So I'm going to be using one file folder for this and maybe a few extra pieces, but it's just an easy project kind of as if you were using cardstock and that's what I like. It makes it durable and you can see it's really easy. It's like simple flat mail, but really, really, um, you know, durable for all your stuff here. I forgot to put actually something right here. So I'm going to put that right there but you've got one, two, three, four pockets. And of course the front, you can add more, but it's just a fun way and an easy kind of like lazy day tutorial for the weekend. That's if you're not outside enjoying the weather, because I know some of you in the Northeast and the North and the Midwest, they still get a little chilly. So I'm going to cut this down with you because I don't want there to be any confusion when I'm doing this. So, um, okay. Let's get started. I'm going to use, so I'm going to use this piece right here, which is going to be like the tab. It doesn't matter if your tab's here or there. It's just going to kind of lay different. So I'm going to cut this down and I'm going to cut that line right there, which is that little line right there. I'm trying to get it. I still have not changed my blade to this, so... A little bit of trouble. All right, so when I cut this down, I just want to double check. I'm going to have a glitter bomb on here from earlier. But with the tab, when I do this, it ends up being about nine and a half inches in length, okay? Without the tab, it'll be nine inches. So if you're just using regular cardstock or paper, that's the measurement to this. It's going to be nine and a half by 12. All right, so this part is easy because all we're doing is literally just folding this in half, just like that. All right, and then we have this piece. So you see how these little lines are there? I ended up like shaving that off. So take those little two lines you got going on and just kind of shave them off because I wanted it to look I guess I could have left it because I ended up covering the pocket, but originally I wasn't sure what I was going to do. So I'm cutting that off and now I'm going to take this and why is this upside down? I was wondering why that was very funny to me. <laughs> okay, so how am I going to do this? All right, so, oh no, hold on. I had a piece of paper. Okay, so when I do this, we're gonna cut this in half. And how did I cut it? So it should be five and a half inches. Okay, all right, so one side of this is going to be, wait, am I cutting this in the middle? Okay, I had to figure this out. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this at five and three quarters. So this other little piece we have. And then this is going to end up being, okay. So when we do that, I'm gonna put this one at five and three quarters as well. 
actually I think this side has to be a little shorter but anyways I'm gonna cut this down so I'm just cutting that little tab off and it's gonna look like that so that's how we're gonna get our little left pockets okay and then I'm going to cut this down So this is going to be three and one fourth. So one is one is going to be uh, five and a half and three and one fourth, and one is going to be three and three fourths. So there's that, and then this one is three and three fourths. Okay, so that's going to be that little left pocket right there. So it'll be on this side. So it should look like this. And then it'll have this one back here. I wish I cut this out, but I had to do it this way so you guys see what's going on. So once you have that side, right, then we have this other half left. And that's going to be on this side. And this one, you can see, I just kind of trimmed it. So anyway, let's kind of piece this together. Sorry if that was confusing. I had to really uh, think about it myself. All right, so we've got this piece here. And let's just kind of do the covers real quick. So the covers are going to be five and three quarters by eight and three quarters. And I have four of them here. So it's going to be the top, like basically this. And I'm going to show you a little trick. Because like, see, you put this here and you see that little area right here. What I do just to trim that is I take my two inch punch and just like knock, notch it off. And then it will like just perfectly kind of go under there. It's a little under, but it works for me. And then if, especially if you're like inking the edges, you won't really see that. So I'm gonna put this front cover on and we're just gonna kind of do that with the whole album. And the pump, it's like, you don't really need to go that long in this, but I'm going to do it that way because it makes it more durable. The more layers you have, the more durable it is. All right, and again, we're gonna basically do the same thing and, and on the back. So again, I've run into this problem here where I have this little notch, so I'm just gonna take it and notch it off. And then you've got that, so it just looks like that. And I'm more concerned about the edges than the middle. So like this page right here, if you don't want, oh my goodness, I think my paper is upside down. That's okay, the pockets are gonna cover it. But if you don't want to waste the paper, you know, then after I do these pockets, you can see, but it makes it just so much thicker, I feel like, when you do this. And then this side here is pretty easy. You don't have to really do that because you've got that tab there, so you don't have any funky corners or anything. I actually did a few tutorials with the file folders on my desk and I was just not too happy with it and I want to redo some of it. So, oh my goodness, what am I thinking? Um, I want to redo them, but they're a lot more interactive than this one. But I was like, you know what? Let's just do the basics and get this up and then do the others. So here's the last one right here. And I'm using an older collection today. I'm about to open a new collection and do a really fun tutorial. But I just haven't brainstormed. I'm trying to do something really good for it. Okay, so we've got that. We've got our covers on. Simple. And now let's do the little pockets. Which I need my little template here. Okay. So again, it's just gonna go like this, and then this one's gonna go behind it. So I'm doing my bottom. I mean, you can do this if you want, but I want it like this because I feel like you're gonna stuff things inside of it. So let me show you what the cover is. So the top pocket here, why is this shorter? What did I do? Is this one right? 
And this one is right. So it should be five and a half. I think I cut this too short. It should be five and a half. Yep, I did. All right, so this is the top pocket and this is the bottom pocket. So I'm just going to do it again. Three and three fourths. So it's going to look like that. So those are the right measurements. It's just I didn't measure it right when I did my papers. And of course, you don't even have to do this part. But like I said, you want your album to be durable. So we want that thick backing. You could obviously use just scrapbook paper. So here's this one. The bottom piece is going to be five and a half by three and a quarter. So this ends up being just a little bit shorter. So just make sure you know that it's five and a half by three and three quarters and the bottom is gonna be five and a half by three and one quarter. So this is an old collection, but I'm just kind of mixing it with some other stuff. And then of course you can do a little thumb notch. I'll do one here. So like I said, however is your preference for the pockets, I'm going to do it so mine's lower. Just put it right there. And I kind of eyeball it because I want to make sure it's where I need it to be. You could even put a little higher and put mine there and then do this. So for that other pocket, you see that I did that really deep pocket. If you want to do something like this on that side with those papers, you could, but the measurement will probably be a little different. And I like how this layers with this and this. And like I said, this is what I mean. If you don't want to waste paper, you can put your paper up to here and not have to put it all the way down, but it does make the album a lot thicker. Okay, so the right pocket here is going to be five and three quarters by seven and three quarters. And you can, like I said, you can cut this in half and do something similar, but just to kind of, oh, that's the, I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I'm out of it. So that is the pocket cover, but this is our piece that we did. So we will cut it. So you see how this is a little bit uh, different because I'm going to cut that off. So I'm going to cut this. I'm going to glue this on and I'm going to cut it. You could even make this another pocket if you really want to like open a side part. So I'm do that. And then that's okay if it's like that because I'm cutting it. I'm not going to risk it today, you guys. I'm going to actually put this in my thing here. And just kind of slant it down like that. So it looks like that. And then I'm going to put it right here. So that's just how you get that deep pocket. So you don't even, oh my goodness, look what the hack job I did. That's all right. So you don't even have to really cover this. I mean, if you want to decorate this with washi or, you know, different things, stickers, then you don't have to use paper. You could stamp it up. You could do so many things. Okay, and then the vellum here, which is obviously optional, you could just leave it like this. It's just going to be five and three quarters by four inches. So this is what I mean by adding the little extra. This would be it. It is a file folder album. I'm just adding a few extra pieces.
And I have some of my rosies I mixed in here. It just happened to mix so pretty with this. So I'm going to just glue that on there. And then if you want to do the front, which you obviously don't have to, um, I'm just gonna put a little sticker here. I have this here and I basically just did the glitter trick again, which I never get tired of, but that's a pocket. So if you don't obviously have to do that, but I don't know, I just felt like it was, I lost, honestly, this collection is so old. I lost my die pieces to it. So I just had to kind of improv. So this is going to be three by eight and three quarters. And here's a scrap paper. So for this one, you can see I used a lot thicker tape than I normally do because I was just like, eh, I want to just change it up a little bit instead of make it thin. So this is my little double-sided tape trick. And I'm just going to grab this and add some gold. And I made a mess before. I'm telling you, my vacuum gets a lot of glitter every day. It was bad when I used to sell sequins on Etsy. Oh my goodness. It was a, I was like, I, I literally stopped selling sequins because I couldn't handle the mess anymore. I was so over it. <laughs> okay, and you see how pretty that looks without having to decorate. You just add this pocket on there. You could even do the vellum, which I thought about doing, but I was like, okay, I've done a lot of vellum pockets. Let me just do this. And then pop that on there. And again, this is an addition. Obviously, this is not part of the file folder. It's just something I'm adding on there. And I don't know how this collection goes so well with this together. And I painted my nails and look, they didn't finish drying. And I have no patience for painting nails. You would, And I don't realize I need to paint my nails until I sit down and I'm like, oh, those look bad. <laughs> so anyways, here is this. But do you see how simple this album is? And you can extend it. Let me add some goodies in it so you guys can see what it looks like. Here, I've just got some project cards, just tossing them in there. You could add photos. I have people ask questions, what do you do with all this? And most people who do this do snail mail or they do memory keeping. So if you have like photos or tickets or pamphlets, you know, you travel and you collect all these things like concert tickets, you can add that all in here and, you know, have something that says, um, I don't know, Taylor Swift, which I'm not a Taylor fan, by the way. I love her older stuff, but I'm not a crazy Taylor fan, but like Taylor Swift and you could put like, you know, the, maybe some, the brochure or whatever, and then the tickets and then some photos. So that's just some ideas because I feel like some people struggle with what you can do with this if they don't send snail mail or give it to your local senior citizen community because they love that and they would be so happy to have something like this. And if you're building this, you could take two of these and bind them so you have a stack. So this is just my previous album and add a little bit of twine here or even just, I mean, you don't even have to add twine. You could just add an elastic thing and you can build up your album. So, yep, here is my version of a file folder thing. I had ins inspo on pr uh, printable from interest, uh, blah, Pinterest, <laughs> but I don't know. It came out cute, and it's fun and simple for this lovely weekend. All right, guys, thank you so much, and sorry for the bloopers. I'm a little off today. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks.